Now we can define the governing equations and add the boundary conditions. Start by double-clicking Setup in the Workbench window. When the Fluent Launcher opens, select Double Precision. This increases both the precision and range of magnitudes that can be represented, but at the cost of using increased memory. Under Solver Processes, change this to match the number of CPU cores on your computer. This allows for effective parallelization that will improve the solution time. Once this is set up, click Start to start Fluent. Once Fluent is opened, perform a mesh check by selecting the option in the top bar. We get no errors in the command pane, so our mesh is sufficient to get good solution results. To refine the governing equations, ensure that Steady is selected, and change Type from Pressure-Based to Density-Based. We can further alter the governing equations of our mathematical model under the Models option in the tree. Expanding it, and double-clicking on Viscous, we can change the model to Inviscid and click OK. This tells the Fluent Solver that these are the governing equations we want to solve. We specified that the geometry was 2D and enforced all of the assumptions. To further define the mathematical model, we need to specify material properties and boundary conditions. Under Materials in the Tree, Expand Fluid, and double-click on Air. Here, we can change the density of the flow fluid. We selected the density for our model to be 1 kilogram per meter cubed, so we can enter that here. And click Change slash Create when done. You can then close this window. To define the boundary conditions, we can double click it in the tree. Start by selecting Inlet in the list and ensuring it's set to Velocity Inlet. And click Edit. In the new window, for Velocity Specification Method, select Components. We need to enter U and V components to obtain the desired 6 degree angle of attack. Here is a schematic of the geometry to help visualize the trigonometry needed to obtain the velocity components. This black dashed line is the cord of the airfoil. The incoming free stream velocity, V infinity, creates an angle alpha with this line. We can decompose this vector into two components aligned with our coordinate system using trigonometry. This gives us the resulting expression shown here. Plugging in our V infinity and alpha values gives us 0.9945 for the X component and 0.1045 for the Y component. Back in Fluent, we can enter these values here. and click Apply. You can then close this window. Next, select Outlet from the list, and ensure it is set to Pressure Outlet. Clicking Edit to check the details, we can see that it is automatically set to a gauge pressure of zero, which is what we want. You can close this window. Note that this gauge pressure is relative to a specific operating condition. We can check this value by selecting Operating Conditions. 
where we will see that it is set to atmospheric pressure. Using gauge pressure instead of an absolute pressure reduces errors caused by saving small differences of large numbers to memory. Finally, select airfoil in the tree and make sure it is set to wall to apply the no penetration boundary condition. Doing this fully defines our mathematical model that we can now begin to solve. Make sure to save your project.